Shish kebabs. Down in the yeah, that don't suck. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. I shot all that slow motion in the kebab making sequence at 120 frames per second in 720 on my Canon 5D Mark IV. For only being 720, I thought that the quality looked pretty dang good. But about two months ago, I pre-ordered Sony's new A7R Mark III, and that should show up here in the next couple weeks. That one shoots 120 frames per second in 1080, and it'll be interesting to compare both cameras. When I get that Sony, I'll be doing a bunch of comparison vlogs. But for today's vlog, I'm going to go over everything that lives in this bag right here and this is my emergency kit and it goes with me on day hunts multi-day hunts this item goes with me everywhere i go well, let's dive into each and every piece in this kit first up is the garmin inreach satellite texting device this piece allows me to text anybody from anywhere in the world it also has a handy sos feature on it in case it's the fan i can press the sos and it'll contact local search and rescue and send in the cavalry great for keeping touch with friends and family it gives a lot of peace of mind to both friends and family as well as myself and allows me to go into areas that previously i would have been maybe a little bit uh, hesitant uh, to go into uh, it's also a great tool for say you shoot a bull elk way in the backcountry you can text your buddies and they'll come come in and, and help you out next is my emergency bivy sack from sol this thing it only weighs three ounces it's pretty little i think it's better than just the emergency blankets because you can actually crawl inside i've spent quite a few nights out with this thing if you're just on a really windy ridge and you're just glassing you can crawl inside this thing and it'll block all the wind and you can just sit on a ridge and glass for hours last year on opening evening of montana's archery season i shot a bull elk way way back during a really really bad storm at about 2 a.m. that night, I got uh, all the, the meat uh, deboned and hung in trees. Started out on the, the first load out, and I got to my tent, which is at the top of the mountain, at about 6 a.m. Fully expecting to zip up my tent, crawl inside, and get warm. Look inside, and there's about two inches of standing water, and just all the walls are just like super wet. The pad is floating. My sleeping bag is completely underwater. The tent I was using, which is such a bummer, I really love this tent. I just come to find out it's not waterproof. Despite all the online reviews and everybody I talked to saying, oh, this tent's waterproof. Waterproof. It's not waterproof. So if anybody's looking at the Direct 2 for Mountain Hardware and they expect it to be waterproof, uh, it's definitely not waterproof. I've actually gone through two of these tents expecting um, them to be waterproof and it's definitely not. But when I crawled inside my tent, I scooped out all this extra water, got on my pad, and then crawled inside my emergency bivy and actually got pretty warm and was able to get maybe, maybe a half hour of, of rest before I decided to get the heck out of there. And I think without that, it would have been a very unideal situation. Next is the quick clot clotting sponge. This has a clotting agent inside of it. So say you cut yourself really bad, say a grizzly bear like bites part of your leg off, like <laughs> bad things happen, pull this out of his packaging, apply it to the wound, put pressure on the wound with this in between. It will help to stop the bleeding really fast. And then you combine this with, this is just a compression wrap. So you can wrap it around um, different wounds and this could really save your life. Inside of this, I've got a little baggie, mostly ibuprofen in it. I also have a few aspirins in it in case I was with somebody and they already have a heart attack. You could just chew on this aspirin and theoretically that would help save their life. Next is fire starter from Wet Fire. These, you literally just light the packaging on fire and they'll just start to burn. And these, I think these, each of these little things will burn for like five straight minutes. Along with that, two forms of making a fire standard Bic lighter, as well as some matches with the little striking tab inside there. And I've got four extra AAA batteries for my main headlamp, a backup headlamp, a little emergency headlamp. This thing's tiny, it doesn't even weigh an ounce. A Leatherman squirt with an emergency whistle on it. It's just a little micro mini version, but it's got every multi-tool on it, especially with camera gear, you know, base plates can come loose. Also, if you happen to forget your knife, you got an extra knife in here. <laughs> New Zealand uh, this last year, Jesse Young and I, well, I mostly watched, but she actually caped a chamois out with this little tiny Leatherman and this like uh, inch and a half blade. <laughs> 
Next is this Goal Zero Switch battery bank. You can get about one cell phone charge out of this. Charge my inReach once with this. The two power cords, um, both for my cell phone and the inReach. A couple feet of rolled up electrical tape here. This can be used for taping the barrel of your gun, taping up wounds, fire starters, stuff burns really well. Tons of uses for tape. Potable Agua. This is a water purification, uh, germicide tablets, iodine. They taste really bad. Man, you, know, you can basically purify any piece of water uh, you want with these little tablets. Along with this noon bottle here, and inside there are three noon tablets to add to any water that I do purify because again, water purification tablets taste really bad. Inside there, Pepto-Bismol tablets, stomach issues in the mountains that really suck. So it's nice to have something to help combat that a little bit. All right, so that's everything that I carry in my emergency kit. It's a really pared down system. I try to go as light as I possibly can. There may be things that I'm missing, and if anyone has suggestions or would like to share what they carry, definitely comment below. I'm always modifying and kind of adapting my gear to what other people are using and what makes sense, so I'm all ears. If you like this video, hit the like button. That helped me out a lot. And if you wanna see more, hit subscribe. All right, that's all for today. Uh, we'll see you next time.